Fortnite has a lot of rare skins, but what's the rare skin in Fortnite? Well, in today's video, I put together a list of the top 30 rare skins in Fortnite Chapter 4. This video is full of Fortnite skins that are never coming back, so if you own any of these, be sure to subscribe. Kicking off this video, we have the World Warrior. This skin was exclusive to the Fortnite World Cup, and Fortnite actually kept its word because it hasn't come back to the item shop since. This skin was last seen on July 28, 2019, meaning it hasn't been in the shop for 1,366 days. But it wasn't the only World Cup exclusive skin, because believe it or not, Fish Thick also has a World Cup exclusive edit style, and if you didn't own this skin during the time of the World Cup, you won't have this edit style. Fortnite did more than just exclusive skins for the World Cup though, because as most of you know, the FNCS skins are never coming back. Fortnite has done a ton of these, but if you own one of the earlier editions of this skin, you have yourself a rare Fortnite outfit. So you probably knew about the rare FNCS skins, but one skin you probably didn't know was rare was the Party Trooper. The regular outfit hasn't been in the item shop in 623 days, but that's not even the biggest reason it's rare. It actually has two super rare edit styles that you could only get by attending the J Balvin and the Ariana Grande concerts in game. Considering most people really didn't attend the J Balvin concert, I'm gonna assume this is probably the rarest edit style. Sadly though, if you missed out on these edit styles, you're not gonna get another chance at getting them. As rare as the Party Trooper is though, we know it's not the rarest Halloween skin because the Purple Skull Trooper and the Pink Gold Trooper are both way more rare. The regular skins themselves are no longer rare because they have returned to the item shop for every single Halloween, but they each have their own OG exclusive edit styles that keep them rare. These are no longer attainable, but if you have the purple edit style for the Skull Trooper and the pink edit style for the Gold Trooper, then you're a Fortnite OG. Moving on though, some more rare Fortnite skins that are never coming back are Iconic, Galaxy, and Glow. These were all Fortnite skins that were exclusive for Samsung phone owners and none of them are available anymore. Sadly though, the only skin we got for Apple phones was a skin to protest against against Fortnite being banned from the App Store. This skin was available through the free Fortnite Cup and will never be able to be attained again. But we've gotten exclusive skins for more than just mobile players, because there's also an exclusive outfit, Reflex, which was only available to players who bought an NVIDIA graphics card. Sadly, if you missed out on this one, you won't get another chance to get it. Now if you play on console, don't feel left out, because if you play on the Nintendo Switch, there are exclusive skins like Double Helix and Wildcat, but these ones will definitely cost you a little more than you'd normally pay for a Fortnite skin. I mean, these outfits might be the biggest flexes in Fortnite. I don't think I've ever seen the Double Helix in game. Exclusive Fortnite skins are kind of a flex, but an even bigger flex are the OG Fortnite skins because almost nobody has them. I am of course talking about the Aerial Assault Trooper and the Renegade Raider. Both of these skins were available to purchase back in Season 1 through the Season Shop and have never been available through the Item Shop. We've seen reskins of the Renegade Raider and there is a leaked Christmas version of the Aerial Assault Trooper, but as far as the original versions of these outfits go, there's really no shot that these ever come back. These aren't the only outfits that can prove your OG status though, because if you own the Season 2 Battle Pass, you are definitely a Fortnite OG. These are some of the rarest skins in the game and they're never going to come back. This Battle Pass included classics such as the Black Knight, the Sparkle Specialist, and the Royale Knight. This is the only Battle Pass I'm going to include on this list though, because it's the rarest one. Now one Fortnite skin you may have never heard of is this skin called Rue. From what we've read in leaks, it seems like this Fortnite skin is never going to come back because there was a lot of controversy surrounding this skin's outfit when it released. It's technically still an item shop skin, so it can return at any time, but it seems to be blacklisted. But it's not the only Fortnite skin you probably forgot about, because another skin you probably forgot about are the Twitch Prime skins. I'm talking about Sub Commander, Havoc, and Trailblazer. These skins were exclusive to Twitch Prime members back in early Chapter 1, and they're no longer available. These skins basically have no shot at coming back, and I highly doubt we ever see another Twitch Prime pack. The next rare Fortnite skins that are never returning are the Stranger Things skins. These outfits haven't been in the item shop in 1,264 days. This collab released with two outfits, Chief Hopper and the Demigorgon. If these outfits were coming back, they probably would have came back for Stranger Things Season 4, but because they didn't, it seems pretty unlikely that they'll ever return. This isn't the only huge Fortnite collab that isn't coming back though, because in the next spot we have Kratos. Kratos is getting extremely rare because it hasn't been seen in the item shop in 766 days. This outfit also has a PlayStation 5 exclusive edit style, which is even more rare than the normal version of the outfit. There's a good chance this will end up being one of the rarest gaming legend skins. Now the next two Fortnite skins aren't coming back because they have been tarnished by controversy. The first 
skin I'm talking about is Mike Lowry. This outfit is never coming back because this skin is based on the actor Will Smith, who recently found himself in a lot of trouble after slapping Chris Rock at the Oscars. This has kind of tarnished Will Smith's legacy, and ever since, it hasn't been back in the item shop. The other Fortnite skin that has been under fire and is likely never returning is Travis Scott in the Astro Jack outfit. These skins are never returning to the game because of the tragedy that happened at Astro World a couple years ago. Ever since this event, Fortnite decided it'd probably be a good idea to distance themselves from Travis Scott, so the odds of him returning are pretty unlikely. But bringing us into the top three rarest Fortnite skins, we have Indigo Kuno. This skin was only given out to 6,000 people, and you had to win a tournament to unlock it, making it one of the rarest Fortnite skins in the game. But hey, if you do own this one, you're probably one of the better Fortnite players. A skin that is even rarer than that, though, is the fully gold edit style of Agent Peely. We don't know exactly how many people earn this skin, but it has to be less than 6,000, because unlocking this outfit was nearly impossible. Agent Peely himself really isn't rare, but the gold edit style is one of the rarest Fortnite skins in the game. Now finally guys, the rarest skin in Fortnite is the Brilliant Bomber. This skin was given out to a select few people and was never actually released in the game. There are probably less than 100 players who have this skin, making it the rarest skin in Fortnite. Comment down below and let me know what the rarest Fortnite skin you own is, and if you enjoyed this video, be sure to watch the one on screen now. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Later.